It's week one of the National Football League, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Commanders and the Cowboys on Monday Night Primetime. We've been here so many times, and you still stand in awe at the size of this place. We're at AT&T Stadium. Welcome to Arlington, Texas. With Brock Hewitt up in the booth, I'm Kate Scott. What a great opening week to the NFL season it has been so far. Brock, tonight's contest officially closing out week one. You know these teams are happy to have the big spotlight to begin their seasons. Yeah, a bit of added energy and juice in the building. Added mm -hmm. challenge at the same time, too, Kate. Mm -hmm. They are amped up. Okay, they've watched everybody else get a chance to play, and now all eyes are on them. It brings some added pressure, no question. And we get to see which team can rise to the occasion. Second down, here's Prescott again. This one caught by C.D. Lamb. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. To the line we go. They're set, first and ten. First carry of the game for the rookie out of Oklahoma. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. Yankee Luvu there for the tackle. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They give it to him again. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. We know how hard explosive plays can be in the NFL, and so often they come via the air. What a great help for the offense to find an explosive play on the ground. Well done. Going to the ground again on first. And he'll advance this down to the 38-yard line. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Back-to-back -back carries here. And they make the stop. I'm going to say it about the 37-yard line. That's a short gain of one. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. Another carry for him. And he runs this one down across the 35 and inside the 30. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. From the 29, he's throwing deep to the left side. They connect on the deep shot. And he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys finish up an excellent opening series. What an outstanding opening series, partner. They just wore down that defense as they marched their way to the end zone. Yeah, it took a whole bunch of that opening script to find a touchdown, but it showed just how well designed that script was. It was the right sequence of plays to keep that ball moving and find the end zone while getting your offense established in its top gear right here early on. That one splits the uprights. And the Cowboys take a 7-0 lead as he starts this year one for one. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. So the commander's offense headed out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by an elite runner, one of the game's top dual threat young quarterbacks. He was taken second in 2024, Jaden Daniels. It's the dawn of a new season, Kate, with all the promise in the world ahead of he and his squad. And this is where all that off-season planning, the reps in camp, the sweat, the blood, the tears come into play. And you really don't want to stumble out the gate. You want to be the horse who jumps to the front right away and let everybody try to chase you down. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. I'll tell you what, Kay, one of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do it. I got to see it up close and personal. Because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. 
Quick touch pass to the receiver. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. On the gun, it's Daniels. Into the hands of Terry McLaurin. And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. That play good for 17 and a first down. First down, Washington. Working inside the red zone. Flush down it. This time they're gonna get there and they drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Trying again, following the set. He's on the move. He tucks it and takes off. And he slides to a stop after a great run, but still not quite enough for that first down. All right, Cowboys showing nickel set third down. Out of the gun, Daniels escapes the pocket. And it's time they're going to get there, and they drop it. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit? to this defense who snapped and clear. That's part of this game, you gotta snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home with that sack. Makes the score, Cowboys seven, Commanders three. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Short kick gathered in at the 15. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Dallas sending its offense out for the second time this game. And so far, they've executed exactly how they drew it up, Brock. Early lead, no points allowed, and a chance now to seize control of the game on their second possession. And, Kate, generally, offenses love to script their first 10 to 15 plays. Well, this entire game script is playing out just the way they want to. As a play caller, Kate, I would always be a little cautious of a first down draw. I like it better when that defense is anticipating pass. Well, they were only anticipating getting the backfield and making that running back feel the pain. Has him on the quick hitter. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. You've heard that very common term in draft vernacular called catching radius. Let me tell you, as a quarterback, you love tight ends on drag routes because that catching radius for such a big target, then you see him, you eye him, and there's a comfort level between QB and tight end to make that connection. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. Officially a 55-yard launch. And the Commanders will go on offense. Here comes the Washington offense out to the field, ready for their second drive. And they are really starting the season off with a banger of a contest here, Brock. A chance to measure up against a division rival, and this win could be an important one to have in hand in just a few months. Sometimes the surprises work out for a nice game. And sometimes, well, those surprises, they don't surprise anybody, and you're left hoping your running back just gets up. So we're down to three quarters remaining in our opening weekend of football. Neither side separating much so far. Back to AT&T Stadium in just a moment. Time now for the second quarter. Commanders in possession. They have second down behind the sticks. Daniels now. The screen pass falls incomplete. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And that's gonna leave him with a tough third and long. Daniels from the pistol. And down he goes! The Cowboy defense gets it to him! And the defense comes through. That's gonna back him up and bring up fourth down. The Commanders ready for the punt. And this is gonna be his first punt of the new season. 
And he's just going to fair catch this one. That's brought in at the 39-yard line. No return on that punt. And the Cowboys will get set to go on offense. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. First down, here's Dak. We've got a screen to the running back. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. They steal the frequency on those opposing headsets. Somebody reading lips or steal a signal from the opposing sideline, Kate, because somehow this defense knew what was coming. They broke on that screen. It was incredible. What a stop. This finds Cooks complete. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Commanders with an extra DB out there to defend this third down. Working from the pistol, Prescott. Complete beyond the marker. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. He gets six on that play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Here's the handoff. He swarms in the middle. This gets maybe a yard. It was Tyrell Johnson with the tackle. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Dak now from the gun. Short pass brought in. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. Give now to the running back. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I'll tell you what, anytime we get to see this safety display his range, it's a thing of beauty, not just in the passing game, but look at him navigating all that traffic downhill and applying the hit to stick it behind the line. Prescott here from the gun. Completed to his running back. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And it'll be first down, Dallas. You know, Kate, it is so hard on these defenses to try to keep an eye and monitor on these running backs when they leave the backfield, especially if he's waiting to chip a defender or delays in the start of his route. He's really an underrated part of their overall passing game. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out. From the gun is Prescott. And he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas! The Cowboys now lead by 10. You always tell me, Brock, it is a whole different world here, running routes, working in confined spaces, instead of having that whole field to spread out a defense. Oh, spot on, Kate. And some players, that's the world they thrive in, finding windows where windows shouldn't exist, and then being ready for the throw to arrive. It happens so fast. Trusting your quarterback to make the right read and get it to you. Aubrey Good on the point after. And the Cowboys drive their lead to 11. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. The commanders set to take over. Their first drive of the season, an uneventful one, led to a punch. So they'll try to get some new season magic going here on their second drive. They're out and set, first and ten. Shotgun snap to Daniels. He gets it to Juwan Johnson. This is ahead for about five. Kalen Carson with the tackle. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. From the 32. Has a man. It's Brown. And he'll go down. It will say right at the 39-yard line. That one gains seven. And that'll be good for a Washington first. They give to Harris from the gun. He'll cobble together a yard there. Play step by Damone Clark. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. Now 
Daniels off the play action. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is in! And it's a turnover. The defense has it. This is exactly what you want out of your defense. If they're not going to secure the ball on offense, and they're going to give you a shot at it, go punch that ball loose and get a body on it for the recovery. The Cowboys and quarterback Dak Prescott ready to get back to work. They're one for one so far to begin the new NFL season. Touchdown on their opening drive. Let's see if they have two for two in them. Throwing on first is Prescott. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Juan Martin with the pick. And the Commanders are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Well, okay, I guess we've got a couple of very giving teams today, Brock. One side coughs it up with a fumble, then the other side graciously hands it right back with the interception. Hey, listen, if you like playmaking defenses, then you like this game right here. These defenses, they're the ones supplying the big plays, and they're putting their stamp on this game. Washington are ready to go on offense as they take the field. They gave one away on their first drive of the season. Now it's time to get one back with a touchdown on drive number two. Drive starts out with a first and ten. And he found some running room for a nice game. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. He's got Brown on the slant. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. We're to the two-minute warning from AT&T. The Commanders have a lot of work to do for any points before the break. Here's first and 10 from the 34. To throw, Daniels. Throw right side, caught by Thomas. And he gets him around six there. Tackle made by Trayvon Diggs. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. And now they need to get four on third down. Again, Daniels to the air. Gets this one to Harris. And he'll get it up to the 44. The defense calls a timeout. So that's their first. On again comes Ryan Wrights for another punt. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. Fair catch made a little beyond the 20-yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And it'll be their football. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. That's going to be caught by Cooks. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Second and three now. From the 29. Finds him over the middle. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Give him three on that game. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. And the power play up the gun only results in two yards. Now Dallas is going to call its second timeout. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 34. Oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Commanders might be able to get some points late after the interception. Okay, Brock. Now back-to-back -back drives where they have picked him off. That's got to be a worrying trend for these coaches who know how integral the passing game is to their game plan and their success. Those poker players, the best of them, when they figure out a tell, they know exactly how to beat their opponent. This defense right now, they're reading this quarterback like a book. The commanders all set to regain possession. They have time to look to the end zone first here before they send the field goal unit out. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Second and six coming up here. From the gun, it's Daniels. 
That is incomplete. Down to 13 seconds left. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on the coverage of this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Or well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. Daniels throwing on third. He gets this one to McLaurin. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. You know, I don't mind the scheme. In fact, I like the call. Just not on that third down in particular. We can get it closer to the sticks to have a chance to move those chains. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that brings the deficit back within a score. Eight points. Time left for maybe a return plus a play here as they send this away. Fielded at the seven. Good looking return here, and he's got room. He's hauled down on what is the final play of our first half. We've hit halftime in our first Monday night contest of the season. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, thanks very much. As mentioned, this is the EA Sports Halftime Report. Time to take a look around the NFL and find out what's going on this fine Sunday. From there, let's get over to the Rockies and check out the Broncos at home in Denver. And they were winners in that one as they defeat the visiting Tennessee Titans. Bo Nix with three touchdown passes in the week one victory. Lastly, let's get to Pittsburgh to check on the Steelers at home in Acrisure Stadium. And they were losers in their ball game as the visiting Buffalo Bills come in and took it to them. The Bills start the campaign 1-0 with the road victory. It was the veteran quarterback, Dak Prescott, who had it working in the first half. He's got two touchdown passes already, but he's also thrown two interceptions. So it was feast or famine whenever his guys had the football. Aubrey kick this one away. Kickoff taken at the three. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. The Washington offense getting set for its next possession. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them, really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. And he works his way for a gain of four. Hey, that's a pretty modest pickup for a QB keeper. On a traditional handoff, you'll take that yardage. But those QB keepers, so many times, they're really designed, Kate, for chunk plays in my double digits. And they nearly got it there. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They got 24 yards on the play. And the Commanders will have a first. Shotgun snap, a give to Robinson. And he's brought down for a loss. You know how we hear about teams and quarterbacks avoid targeting a stud cornerback, just throwing away from him? Well, maybe they should avoid running it anywhere near this guy. He's having no issue stopping these plays cold. He'll get this one to Brown. And he goes down a little short of the 40. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. That's a BYOB. You gotta be your own blocker. It would've taken the entire defense piling on to stop him from getting that first down. Well done. On first down, here's Daniels. Fits it through the middle. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. They get 19, and now they're going to have first and goal. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept 
sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Trying to run in, Harris. And he's gonna get taken down near the goal line. It's a gain down to the one. It's second and goal. And he runs it across, touchdown. The Commanders cut into the lead, coming out of halftime. Jaden Daniels with the touchdown. They broke out the design, run for him there. Coach just tells him, hey, Brock, KQB, do your thing, get a six. Yeah, and these offensive coaches love this play, and defensive coaches hate it, Kate, because it really gives you an extra hat, right, an extra yeah. number when your QB's got the athleticism, got the legs, got the instincts to go run it in for six. A defensive nightmare, an offensive touchdown. And in a tight game, they turn to the run, and it rewards them with two. We're all tied up. Well, Brock, the run's certainly an option as they lined up for two, but as an offense, what are you looking for when you decide to throw it instead? Well, you've spent all week working on these plays, and usually you have two or three that you like. That run game, you're right, you could run it. But there's so much more space with creativity in the passing game. And good offenses, elite offenses, they find a way not just to practice it, but to execute it when it matters. Short kick here, fielded at the 17. And they'll start this drive in good position, a little shy of the 40. Another drive coming up for this Dallas offensive unit. And they're going to be looking for a little redemption after their interception last drive led to a tie ball game, 14-all. First down, here's Dak. It's taken in by Lamb. We'll have him gain about a handful there. Jeremy Chin there on the stop. Back to the line they go. It's second down. From the 42. That's Lamb running the slant. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. That's good for Working out of the gun, it's Prescott. Catch made by Colts. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. off to the back and he's able to get this to the 32 before going down three yards there and enough to move the chains it's a new set of downs for him at the 32 first and 10 Prescott on the move headed right just not much to do right there whether he wanted to run it or throw it even if he scraped a positive gain out of it that's still a win for this defense From the 30 on second down. He sends this one to the end zone. Big game downfield. Took his shot at six that time. And things look tougher now with third and long. Third down and eight yards to go. Yeah, here we go. 26. 26. Now deck to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. First time this game, they've looked to him. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. Now Brandon Aubrey will try to knock it through for the Cowboys. From the right hash, it's a 47-yarder. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Commanders back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. 
Daniels on first down. We'll get it complete to Brian Robinson Jr. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all to try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? He's such an underrated part of their overall passing game. Across midfield at the 45. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. These runs, you get maybe a couple of them a game, right, Kate? He breaks that one, and we see him start to foot race. I think we were all rooting for the touchdown just a little bit. That's the type of effort that deserves to finish it in the end zone. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. You know, Kate, during draft season, I was talking to an NFL GM, and he said, you know what, in time, we're going to realize tackles for loss are just as big a deal as sacks. Sacks get so much of the popularity. Tackles for loss, when you knock that offense backwards, I promise you, in time, you'll be keeping a closer eye on plays like that one. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, are not open very long, and it only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. Taken in by Harris. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. It's plays like that, Kate, right wrong. Do I sit and judge defense? I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on on the field, and not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. This third field goal of the game is a big one. They're all tied up now in the second half, and rather than playing from behind, Kate, this will be interesting. They can now focus on getting a stop and taking control of the flow of this game. Sanders all set to send it away. Kick take it in here at the 17. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. Offense headed back out there now for Dallas. Their first drive of the new campaign netted a field goal. Now let's see if they can bump that up to a touchdown on drive number two. They've got first down from the 31. Prescott here from the gun. That one's incomplete over the middle. connect on first it's second down throwing again is Dak has a downfield work in the left and they finally bring him down but that is a big gain and a new set of downs give him 24 on that play and it'll be first down Dallas we've reached the end of three in our week one opener this game remains tied after three, so we'll decide things right here in the fourth quarter. Ball on the 45, first and 10. From the gun is Prescott. It's caught, Ferguson. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. Second down now, seven to go. Dak throwing again. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. All plays on the table here for third and three. Another throw for Prescott. Complete beyond the marker. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. That's a pickup of nine. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. And he'll get this down to the 23-yard line before they stop him. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the commander's 23-yard line. Back to the well again. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Jonathan Allen on the tackle. Well, we know that everybody's got to work in the same accord to get it done offensively. Every lineman and, of course, those guys behind the line. Somewhere, somebody they missed their cue by just enough for the defense to break through and blow that play up. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. 
Just one yard on the play, and that leaves him with fourth and four. So a big kick coming up for Brandon Aubrey. One for one so far. This is from 40. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And they take the lead in the fourth quarter. That field goal gives them the lead for the moment, Kate, but you don't feel comfortable when you look up at that scoreboard. This one is noble, and that lead certainly isn't safe. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Whistles after that play for an unfortunate sight. A player hurt in the first game of the season. Training staff out to work on him. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Daniels from the pistol. It's taken in by Sinnott. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Shotgun snap to Daniels. That's McLaurin with a catch out left. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. All set up now for first and ten. From the gun, they go with Harris. And into a sea of bodies he goes. Looks like they'll get about three out of it. Second down now, seven to go. Staying on the ground with Harris. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, I'll tell you this, Kate. If you can't leverage the middle of the line, you're not going anywhere on the ground. And good luck leveraging him without an extra blocker or two. He just launched in with so much force and blew that play up. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Picked out by Andrew Boo. And the Cowboys are going to have it. And he's going to hang on to that football. That's his first career interception. All right, defense did its job. Forced the offense into a third and long, and that, in large part, partner, led to that interception. Such a dichotomy, Kate, in so many ways. Offensively, we hear all the time what? Stay on schedule, stay on schedule, avoid these situations. Defensive coaches, you know what they say, earn the right to rush the passer, earn the right to make them one-dimensional, and when you do, go pay it off. And they did in the biggest of ways with that huge INT. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Right up the gut. And he's going to fight his way forward for a modest pickup to the 43. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. From the 43. Finds a seam down the middle. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Here's the long back on the handoff. And that run very short, only getting to the 27. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. We've reached the two-minute warning from Dallas. Cowboys only up by a few. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Plowing up the middle. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. So quickly, the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. Here he is to throw. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. So a big kick coming up for Brandon Aubrey. It's 44 yards here from the left half. 
Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And now their lead will push out beyond the field goal. So many of these players on the field, Kate, they just strive for consistency, but not the kickers. They strive for perfection, and so far, he's just that. He fields it from the eight. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Commanders returning their offense and this running back to the field. And as some running lanes have closed, he's just found some new ones. Continuing to hit this defense. More good numbers well into this second half. Here he is to throw. Got a man. It's Thomas. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that'll be good for a Washington first. Now to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. To throw. Has him on the quick hitter. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. The commander's in the hurry up. They're hustling for the line. Finding Thomas near the sideline. And out of bounds right at the 40-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. It's Harris on the option. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Washington calls it second timeout. Looking to throw it. Gets this one to Harris. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. Throwing now. It is cut left side. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Back to throw. And he catches it to tie this game in the final minute. Now on for a likely game winner if he can hit it. And he gets the extra point, and that kick gives him the one-point lead right near the end of this game. Sanders all set to send it away. Return starts from the 16. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Cowboys about set to take over. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. Fits it through the middle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. The running back gets it on the draw. And that's only one yard up the middle. Going to be second down. So there's the timeout called, and we're going to see if they think there's enough time for two plays or just one last snap. The give here on second. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Everything now resting on this try from Brandon Aubrey. Well, they waited right till the end to use this final timeout. Only six seconds left on the clock. So it all comes down to the right foot of their kicker. From the left hash, this will be from 50. It has enough leg, and it's good from deep. And that, folks, is your game winner. 
I know we see these kickers make kicks from this distance all the time, but it never ceases to be impressive. Everything's on the dot, and it's a big three points. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. One final shot here. Hawken isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. So it's a win for the Cowboys. And this isn't just any 1-0 start for them. They pick up what could end up being a key division victory to have later in this season. This has been another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. With all our crew here and my broadcast partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Cowboys are winners as we say so long from Dallas.